what you guys got another video on how to check the drive health and smart status in Windows 11. You can also do this in Windows 10, but we're on a Windows 11 system here. But as you can see, we've got two drives here. If I wanted to find out whether these drives are in good working order or if they are, you know, failing or anything like that, I can check some of this information out right inside Windows 11 without any software and I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple and easy to do. And this can be used to troubleshoot any issues that you're having with your drive. So let's open up the settings pane inside Windows. And once we go here, what we're going to do is go to system. Inside system, you want to come down to where it says storage. Click on storage. And this will open up this window here. What we want to do is come down to where it says advanced uh, storage settings. So click on this one here. And then scroll down a little bit and you're looking for disks and volumes. Click on this one and this will open up another window. And buried deep in here, you will see information about your drives. There's two drives I have on this system. Both of them are NVMe drives. On the actual drive itself, you can see this one and this one right here. It tells me the drive is online and it's healthy. I can also click on the properties and it will give me information about the actual drive. So let's click on properties here. And from here, I can now find out what the name of the drive is, what the model is, and also how much capacity it has and whether it's online and the estimated remaining life of that drive, which says 100%. You can even see the temperature of the drive itself. So, you know, the drive is in now good working order. We can also click on click here for more information. When we click on here, it will give you some information about how to read the information in the actual storage section. You can see it's telling us all about how we can look at our drive and how we can tell whether the drive is starting to fail. Underneath here, if you're having issues with your drive, you'll see there'll be drive health and it'll say warning. Reliability is degraded. Back up your data in case of drive failure. Uh, estimated remaining life 10%. So Windows will warn you that your drive is failing, whether it'll be an SSD or SSD NVMe, it will tell you right here. So you can check on it right inside Windows itself. So as part of your preventive maintenance, you can check on your drive to make sure the drive is in good working order and how much life expectancy you have on that drive. It's important to keep tabs on this sort of stuff because when SSDs let go, they will just completely die. And if you haven't backed up your data, you could be in big trouble. So let's hit the back button here. And what we'll do is I'll quickly show you the other drive so you can see, you can check all drives from here. So I'll click on the properties of this drive and you'll be able to see what is estimated on this one. So this one's a four terabyte drive, you can see. And uh, you can see we have estimated remaining life, 100%. And also temperature of that drive is pretty good. And that is the information on the drive built into Windows. This is also comp uh, compatible for Windows 10 as well. You can do all this in Windows 10. So check out Windows 10 if you've got a Windows 10 based system. Another way you can do it is to do this uh, performance monitor. So you can type this into search and open up the performance monitor here. And once you open up performance monitor, we can do a diagnostic test on our system. And this will tell us all the information about what's going on on our PC. And there's a lot of people that don't even know a lot of these tools exist in Windows, but they just don't use them and they should be using them to keep tabs on what's going on with their system. So go to data collector sets. Inside here, we want to go to where it says system. Open up system here and you should see system diagnostics. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the system diagnostics right here. And there's a long list of stuff here. And the one we're interested in here is the smart disk check. And this will check the uh, smart of the disk and it will tell us the information about that disk. So what we're going to do is push start here. It will take about 60 seconds and it should give us a full test of what's going on with our system. Once this is done, we can right click on here and you will be able to look at some of the log files that it's created. So all we need to do is let that finish does take around about a minute and then once that's done it will give us a bunch of information about what's going on with our PC hardware which is quite useful if you are troubleshooting or diagnosing an issue that's going on. So that's now completed and we can right click on this right here again and you can now see we've got the latest report right here. So let's have a look at the latest report and this will open it up and you can see here it will give us some errors that are going on, warnings that are happening to our PC 
It will also give us a resolution possibly and also the cause of that problem uh, on here. So it's great for troubleshooting. And this is under the errors section right here. But if you can see, we've got basic system checks as well, which does operate, uh, operating system checks, disk checks, and also security center test checks and things like that. So this is where you can get a lot of information about what's going on with your PC. And if we look under the disk checks here, you can see the smart predicted failure check and it passed all them tests. And we've got the logical disk uh, dirty bit check. It's tested that and it's come back clean. And we can see that we've got some other stuff here as well. All this stuff is very useful if you are troubleshooting or you've got problems going on with your PC. So always do a bit of preventive maintenance and check your own system first before you start asking questions. You can see here there's a lot of other information on here, which is quite useful. And you can also do a quick check inside command prompt. It doesn't give you that much information, but it does give you an idea that your drive is working OK. So type CMD in search and run this as administrator. And you want to put in this big command here and it will check both of your drives here. And you can see the status is OK. Everything is working OK with these drives. So we know the drives are in good working order by just doing that simple command there. Very simple and easy to do. So another one is to use Crystal Disk Info. Crystal Disk Info is a very useful tool for giving you a good idea of your health status inside a GUI format. You can see here it tells us both drives are in good working order. They're in 100% health. The temperature of those drives are exactly accurate to what the Windows system was uh, working on. And you can see it does both support trim, tells you power on hours, power on count, and also other stuff on there, which is quite useful. Now, if you're wondering what these ID codes are and how to read this sort of stuff, then there is a website on Wikipedia. You can check this out. I'll leave a link for this in the video description. And it gives you all the ID codes for error read rate and other ones like spin up time, uh, re reallocated sector count, which is very important and things like that. So there is a big long list of all of these here and it gives you a full readout of what these are. So all you need to do is cross reference these IDs with the IDs on Crystal Disk Info and you would know that there is something going on with your system and it will tell you exactly what that problem is. So by cross referencing these IDs on here and some of the more common ones are already listed inside Crystal Disk Info. I'll drop a link for this in the video description for you so you can basically have a look at this in your own leisure and read some of the information here. It's quite useful. And here's your ID codes right down here. So quite useful to know and quite useful to have at hand, especially if you want to check the health of your particular drive. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Quite a useful little video for preventive maintenance and also checking the health of your drives. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.